Uh, when you're transporting bees and moving them, two feet or three miles is the general rule. If you move the box more than two feet, the bees won't actually be able to find their house. They'll pile up on the ground right here. So you want to be able to, when you take them home and you let them fly, you want to make let them fly where the hive is actually going to sit. Bees create a lot of uh, extra heat, so we want some airspace around them. When you get them, if you have to transport them in a car or in, the, in, a, in a pickup, you can take them off the sticks. The sticks just pull right off. They're just lightly stapled on there. And then you can put them right inside your car and stack them. Now, don't leave them in the car just like a baby. Don't leave them in the car with the windows rolled up so there's no air circulation. They will overheat very quickly. The best temperature is 50 degrees and dark. So the closer you can store your bees to that temperature and darkness, they, they're just a lot happier and a lot healthier when you get them. It's also a really good idea to have your equipment already in place. That's going to give you some practice setting up your boxes, your frames and everything. Have your bees set, leveled up, ready to go before you get your bees home. That way they're ready to go. This is going to be the third example. This is the um, full single. And inside of here, this is your lid. And then on top, there's a screen. This is a transportation screen. And so this hive will be completely closed off. It'll have straps around it so that you can transport that in your back of your car, in a pickup truck, however you want to transport it. This will be banded together. So you'll cut the bands off. You can take the screen off and then put the lid back on. And then remove the entrance reducer that'll be on there. Turn it so that it just lets the bees out have a little space right there and that one's ready to go it'll all be set up also fill the feeder the inside of here is your in-hive feeder and i'm going to tip the box up so you can see it there it is and so you'll just pull one of these out put your um high fructose corn syrup in there your fat bee fill it up put this back in and you leave it set level while you do that and one gallon every 10 days so it takes 8 to 12 pounds of honey to produce one pound of wax so when the bees, when you get your bees, there are a lot of them going to be on foundation. It's going to be new equipment. So you want to make sure and feed at least one gallon every 10 days so they have enough food to render that into wax to build their house with. Also, they're going to have to build up winter stores, and so one gallon every 10 days. That's every 10 days, so that's 40 days and 40 nights that you're going to need to feed them. And then you should be into your natural honey flow.